So let's start with that taxation issue because there's been a lot of talk about that uh, on the campaign trail and now as we move into the White House. Uh, you're going to be involved in this. Uh, where are the Democrats right now on, on income tax reform? Sure. Well, I think both Democrats and Republicans agree that our uh, tax structure is not competitive, particularly as it relates to business taxes. We are not competitive in the global marketplace. We give too much away. And we can be competitive. Our problem is that our income taxes are not border adjusted, that we have higher income tax rates, both on the business and individual side than the industrial nations of the world that we compete with. And we do not use a national consumption tax where every other industrial nation does. So the Republicans are looking at a proposal to try to make the income tax into a consumption tax. I have a direct proposal that would change our tax code and allow us to use a progressive consumption tax to reduce dramatically our corporate and personal income tax rates. So Senator, you have been out front on that consumption tax, progressive as you call it, consumption tax. Uh, thus far, what we've seen is really a lot of Democrats saying no, no, no in various circumstances. Is this something you can get to yes on, recognizing there will be compromises? Can you come around some sort of border adjustment tax with the Republicans, do you think? The answer is absolutely yes. We need to get there, but it's got to be a very transparent, open process. We got to make sure that we do have the revenues to pay for our government so we don't go further into debt. The proposals that we've seen come from the Republicans will add to the debt. My proposal is truly revenue neutral, that we, we, we will raise the revenue we say we need no more, and it won't come from middle income families. It will be by adjusting our taxes to a, a, a more progressive use of consumption taxes. So, Senator, from what you just said, do I infer that whatever tax reform there is, as far as you're concerned, needs to be revenue neutral? Oh, absolutely. He's got to raise the revenue we say we're going to raise. We can't add to the deficit. So, yes, it needs to be revenue neutral. Uh, one of the challenges we have, of course, is that the people who estimate our revenues sometimes don't get it right. And uh, they may project that we uh, raise less revenue than we actually raise. My proposal would then rebate those ta extra taxes back to the taxpayers of this country. But on the other side, the Republicans are talking about having a tax cut and say it raises revenue. But it won't, if it doesn't raise the revenue, we're in deeper debt than we are today. We, we must make sure that we have it fair on both sides, that we don't overtax our taxpayers, but we don't add to the deficit. Realistically, Senator, how fast can something get done? No, it's going to take time. Uh, th this requires debate. There is not a meeting of the minds right now between the, the Trump administration and the leadership in Congress. There is a different disagreement among the Democrats and Republicans on the overall budget of this country. It's tough to talk about tax reform if you don't have an agreed budget. And I hope that we'll see that type of compromise take place in Washington. I know Democrats and Republicans are anxious for that to happen. If we can agree on a budget, then I think we have a much better chance to agree on tax reform. Senator, moving over to your hat as ranking member on the Foreign Relations Committee, let's talk about that immigration or travel ban that was imposed last Friday by executive order. Uh, we've heard from a number of chief executive officers, particularly tech, but also going beyond that. Jeff Immelt from GE, Lloyd Blankfein, really complaining about this. Is it likely that the Congress will get involved in this directly? I hope we do. I hope we get involved. We have a resolution to, to repeal the executive order. There, there's no justification for it. It doesn't make us safer. In fact, it makes us, I think, greater at risk. Americans traveling abroad are being used as recruitment by the terrorist organizations. Uh, it is hurting American businesses. We've already heard from businesses in Maryland about some of their people uh, not being able to travel to the United States. We've heard from our academic centers, Johns Hopkins, University of Maryland. They're concerned that it's affecting their students. Uh, it has a, and of course, it has a, a really negative impact on America's image globally. Yesterday, I met with King Abdullah of Jordan, and he talked about the impact it's having on his region of the country, uh, world. So it is, uh, it is wrong. Congress needs to weigh in and uh, make sure it is repealed because it looks like. President Trump is not interested in, in modifying this uh, uh, executive order except to perhaps make it even more uh, 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 dangerous to America's security.